Okay, as we resume on chapter uh, six and the third segment, looking at <clears throat> the choice of equipment you've got to work out with in the fitness center, uh, possibly we'll get to look at this in a future time as we visit National Fitness Center if that prevails itself for this semester. If you look on uh, slide number 50, basically you have really two choices of kinds of things you can do. One is free weights, where it's typical barbells, dumbbells, and such, and uh, uh, machine weights from uh, from that standpoint. Uh, the uh, various uh, isometric, isotonic, and various things. In fact, there's even some new creations going on now where it's do your own thing and it may not even be a typical barbell or dumbbell. But the machine weights have uh, uh, certain pluses and minuses as well as so do the <clears throat> as through the free weights from that standpoint. Uh, for definition, 51, one of the things some folks always have problems with is what is a dumbbell, what is a barbell? Well, a barbell is that long, skinny bar that you put weights on. It's 45 pounds. That's a standard. That's a good test question, by the way. And the dumbbells are little short weights that you pick up by hand. They will be anywhere between 50 and 75, uh, 50 and, excuse me, a pound and 50 pounds. Uh, most users are the one, two, three, four, five pound weights and what have you from that standpoint. Looking at some of the advantages in slide 52, uh, advantages of free weights, basically you can do it at home. It's inexpensive. Uh, some competitive uh, weightlifters like it a whole lot more and you can isolate muscle groups. One of the things that free weights do so much better than the selectorized equipment is it uses other muscles other than just the one that you're working out. It's helps your stabilizing muscles. <clears throat> and that is huge, especially core and other aspects of muscles. The disadvantages, you generally should have a spotter. Uh, the loose weights, if they are loose, just clutter up everything. Your mother may kill you for that standpoint. And then you've got to take it off, put it on, and all that kind of stuff. Looking at the other, the advantage and disadvantage of machine weights, and this is in slide 53. You know, it's a quicker workout. Basically, you change a pin to a different placement. You've got a different set of weights going on. It's safer. It takes advantage of a full range of muscle activity, and basically, you can vary the resistance real easily. However, you're using... Sometimes muscles are isolated so much you're only using that one muscle, which they're designed to do. The problem is you don't always get those other muscles involved, and that can cause a problem. The other thing, most of the time, you can't afford them for your own home use, and generally they take a lot of space. Some of the facts about <clears throat> resistance training, uh, not everybody's going to gain strength at the same speed. And basically, uh, there's a lot of genetic disposition that's incorporated into that coming into slide 50, good, uh, 55. Basically, uh, you should be working out so you'll look better, feel better, you'll improve your performance, and you're less likely to suffer joint injuries when you're already more fit. When you're less fit, obviously, the opposite goes on. And there's all kinds of myths around uh, resistance training. Um, the old coaches used to talk about if there's, if there's, you're not going to have any gain unless you got pain. That's not uh, really prudent. Basically, there's point that you should have some discomfort, but not necessarily pain. One of the other things, especially in the female population, it points out, well, it might make you muscle bound. Not going to happen unless you can, uh, you're shooting up a testosterone or uh, you've got a lot of other things going on. That just doesn't happen. Uh, one of the things out there, and you especially hear this after Christmas, is fat can be converted into muscle. No, there's two different kinds of tissue. Uh, they don't convert or deconvert, such as extra muscle turning into fat. No, that's not the case. You can make that muscle uh, tissue get bigger by working out, but fat tissue is fat tissue. Muscle tissue is muscle tissue uh, in the way it is. Uh, the other big myth is you can spot reduce. Well, you can tone muscle tissue and make it stronger, but if you've got a huge pillow over top of it, you can't see it anyway. So understand that. Um, next week at home, you're going to be walking at least twice. Your, max, your maximum goal is uh, hitting it in two miles, uh, getting in five miles for the week. You can do it in two, three, four installments. or what you want, you want to do. Log it as you would. You've got a chapter six quiz 
due. I moved that date back to March 26, so you've got time to get that taken care of. Uh, some of you, I notice, have already started into that, which is obviously good from that standpoint. Again, if you have questions, please get back with me. I'll be happy to answer anything that you need answered from that standpoint. Probably just email back and forth on uh, Walter State's internet address, and we'll, we'll keep plotting. Uh, more updates as we come. I will uh, uh, email you again before we hit. Uh, be aware the campus does have some open hours. If you do not have computer access uh, to get to those, that are pretty much from uh, 9 o'clock to 3 or 4 o'clock, nothing in the evening or what have you. So be aware of that. But uh, obviously, just keep on keeping on. And whatever you do, be safe. Talk to you soon. Get out there and walk them. Thank you.